So a father glorifying God in the teaching of his children. I think the first thing we need to come to grips with is that we live, and I'm talking about within the church, not the world, we live in an era of Christian minimalism. We live in an era of Christian minimalism. What's the least that we must do in order to be acceptable, respectable, or whatever? You know, in Deuteronomy 6, it says fathers are to be diligently teaching their children, and it's all day long when you rise up and when you lie down and when you go on the way, and so on and so forth. So here you're, again, back to this cultivating of a, of a, a God-centered, uh, God-saturated home. So family worship is absolutely indispensable to a Christian home. I mean, in, the, in previous generations, the 17th century, for example, it would have been a requirement. If you're not having family worship morning and evening in your home, the elders wouldn't admit you to the table. How can you be a Christian and not be doing the bare basics in terms of worshiping God, putting him first uh, in, in your home? But even there, we don't limit it to that. I mean, you have multiple opportunities to speak about the things of the Lord, to instruct our children, to be turning their faces, bending their eyes heavenward all day long so that we're speaking about the things of the Lord. And that's only going to happen if we're thinking about the things of the Lord ourselves, that we're instructing them in the things of, of, of God in terms of its application to our everyday life. That's fine. That's true. But God has to be given a first, the first place within the Christian home. And that, that's going to result in a, a Christian maximalism. I spoke earlier about Philip and Matthew Henry. I mean, these, these children took shorthand notes of all of the sermons. So they basically had a transcript of all the sermons they heard, which were long sermons, that they went, th they went through as a family. And the, the father was massaging all of that truth using the divine ordinance of preaching to further his, his children's understanding. They took notes at family worship. I mean, much of the commentary that we associate with Matthew Henry is kind of a springboard off of what he had heard from his father. But the, the same was true for the, his sisters. I mean, his sisters had their own commentary on the scripture drawn from uh, their, their time at the family altar. And so we're talking hours a day that are devoted to the things of the Lord. That's only going to take place if we're saying no to other stuff. So at present, you know, the average person spends seven to eight hours on an electronic device every single day. And that, that includes people in the church. You, you add up the little bits throughout the day, that's what it comes to. And that's, a, that's an entire work, work day. You know, what, where in the world are we getting this time? Where are people getting this time, it's got to go in order that we might secure what is absolutely most important, and that is the Lord himself and his word and our children being nurtured in the fear and admonition of the Lord. So Christian maximalism, a return to that is what's desperately needed.